I'm Sang Yong Longast. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today, finally, I'm answering your request by making this vegan gyoza. So a lot of you guys ask me, Sang Yong, can you please, please, please make more vegan vegetarian dishes? So here you go, guys. I hope you guys love this recipe because it is so delicious, flavorful, and juicy, but crispy outside kind of gyoza. And I'm gonna make wings around it. And I think, oh, it's so delicious. So I just chopped the three cloves, not three cloves, three stalks of green onions. I'm gonna set aside right here. And I already salted my cabbage. So this is three cups of chopped cabbage. And I just sprinkle one teaspoon of salt and let them sit about 10 minutes. So they are wilted and sweated out their excess moisture because we don't want too much water in our dumpling. Otherwise your dumpling will be like, you know, it will be, oh, it will be soup dumpling then. No, you don't want the cabbage soup. You want pork soup for that. So anyways, I am ready to squeeze their excess moisture. So either paper towel or clean kitchen towel. Place the cabbage. You need a bowl underneath of you. You don't need to rinse it off because I used actually a really minimum amount of the salt. Now bring a clean mixing bowl and let's add this cabbage. I know this looks like a lot of cabbage, but it's not. And in here, I'm going to add plant-based meat. So today I'm using impossible meat, but uh, you can use Beyond Meat or any plant-based meat that you can find. And if you don't want to use this processed <laughs> plant based meat, you can definitely use dried mushrooms, just rehydrate them and chop them and put it in. You just need a total of 12 ounces. And in here, I'm gonna add the three green onions that I chopped earlier. And I'm going to grate one clove of garlic. If you want more, add more, girl. It's your kitchen, your world that I'm living in, okay? Just like that. And a little bit of ginger. You don't need a lot, but I would say about the same amount as the garlic, so about a teaspoon. And ginger is so good for you too. In here, let's add some sesame oil and a teaspoon of sesame oil, one and a half teaspoon of soy sauce, teaspoon of agave nectar. We need a little sweetness to balance with all the savories. And my secret ingredient for my plant-based vegan gyoza is ma or nagaimo in Japan. It's uh, known as mountain yam in English name. So they look like this, like this. Cut the little edge off and peel. And I'm going to also grate this ma or nagaimo. Instead of adding egg for the binder, this is what we are using. Look, it looks like a you know what? If you cannot find this at where you at, you can absolutely use any egg substitute, okay? Come on, girl. Okay, there. So you need about three tablespoons, and now I'm just going to go ahead and mix them. Oh wait, I forgot a little black pepper. And if you have leftover ma or nagaimo, make a okonomiyaki. Oh my God. So delicious. I actually have okonomiyaki recipe right here. Go check it out. It's a little old video, but the recipe is a killer. So definitely check it out. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering like, where can I find the egg substitute? Google it, egg substitute. Okay. <laughs> then let's start wrapping our gyoza. So you will need this regular gyoza wrapper. I like to use this round one because this is a very classic shape. If you have a square one, just fold it half as a rectangle shape. Perfect, easiest to make uh, dumplings. And take one wrapper at a time on your palm and water the edge. Put about a tablespoon, maybe one and a half tablespoon of filling in the middle. Every time I tell myself, don't be greedy, don't be greedy, but I always be greedy. can't help myself and just fold it, fold it, fold it, like are you closing your curtains kind of a thing. 
just like this. How easy, how cute and easy. I'm gonna show you one more. Yeah. So I finished making my gyoza and with this recipe you can make 48 to 50 gyoza and today I'm going to make them very classic gyoza cooking technique which is a fry on the bottom so it's super nice and crispy and steam on the top so it's nice and soft. So I'm gonna turn on my heat. I have oil already on my pan because I already kind of seasoned my stainless steel pan. Just in the half pan, add oil to cover and swirl to coat and let it like kind of a little wavy or a little smoky kind of point. So my oil is a little smoky, I'm gonna turn it off and let them sit for like a couple of minutes. And now I'm going to place my gyoza. And to steaming part, we will need a two third cup of water and two teaspoons of all-purpose flour. Whisk them together. Get your, get your weapon, which is the lead. Lead or something like this. I got this from Bad Bath & Beyond or somewhere, I don't, Macy's? I don't remember, but anyways. You can find this really easy, I bet, on Amazon. But protect yourself, then pour this flour water. This will create really, really beautiful wings around the, around the dumpling. cover and we are going to let them steam and fry all the same time about seven to eight minutes or until the dumpling is fully cooked inside and crisp off the bottom while it's making i'm going to make dipping sauce even though i make dipping sauces every single my dumpling recipes you guys always say how to make the dipping sauce dipping sauce has no secret but today i'm gonna make some secret dipping sauce stuff i remember one of the kyoja restaurants i went in japan they put miso in their dipping sauce so that's what i'm gonna do today if you want dip your dipping sauce to be a little spicy you can absolutely use chili oil instead but today i'm going a little mild That's in good. When the dumpling makes a really loud noise, then turn down the heat to medium because they will golden brown to burn like this. I think they are ready to uncover. <gasps> Woo! Now we are just going to let them finish cooking with no cover, no cover, no cover for about a couple of minutes until this is jiggling, shimmering part is gone. You should be able to see how nice and golden brown is on top surface. Can you see her? <laughs> All righty, my dumpling is done. Look at that. I'm gonna just, this part is kind of questionable if it will come off or what. Oh, look how crispy they are. Wow, this is nuts. <laughs> how, how do I, how do I do this? Ah, I did it. Oh my goodness, I have you seen dumpling more perfect than this? Ha! I bet you haven't until now. Ah, so proud of myself. Look at this crispy wing. Oh my goodness. Okay. Dip, dip. Mmm. I need a little more vinegar on my dipping sauce. Mmm. Nice 
It is so flavorful, the texture and anything, the crispy outside, the juicy inside, the soft, soft on the top. You're not gonna miss anything. This is so mm, satisfying gyoza, plain based. It has up. Guys, if you liked my plant-based vegan gyoza recipe, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching me today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Sanggyeong Longast, and this is Asian at Home. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys!